the narcissist realizes you're onto them. When they realize that you are more aware of what they're doing. When they realize that you have information about them. Some narcissists lack insight into their own behavior. They lack the capacity to gain an accurate and deep understanding of how they behave. So they may think that they behave well. They may think that they behave in a correct or careful manner. So they may think that there is nothing for anyone to be on to. There is nothing for anyone to figure out about them. Because in their minds, they're a good person. Everything they do is perfect. So some narcissists may never think that you're onto them. Because in their minds they're perfect, they never do anything wrong. Everything they do is justified or suitable under the circumstances. So in their minds there is nothing for you to be onto. When you are onto the narcissist, you change how you interact with them. You are careful to avoid any dangerous or harmful situations. You don't engage with them in the same way as you did before. And that can cause the narcissist to become frustrated with you. It can cause them to feel and express distress and annoyance, resulting from their inability to change or achieve something. Because now they are unable to use the same tricks as they once did to get to you. It makes them feel like they have lost their power and control over you. When you stop engaging with them, and you start becoming indifferent to everything that they're doing, it makes them very frustrated. Because they can no longer get the same reactions out of you as they did before. They can no longer get you to do what they want. If the narcissist does start to see that you're onto them, if they do start to realize that you're onto their lies, manipulations, and twisting the truth, this will make them very uncomfortable because their power comes from deceiving you, from making you believe things that are not true. And if you start th seeing through their BS, for them it feels like you are taking their power away. They don't like the feeling of vulnerability. They lack empathy. They have no desire to be open or honest with you. They are too insecure to do that. They are too uncertain and anxious about themselves. Once you are onto them and they realize it and they feel their power slipping away, in some situations they may just avoid you they may stop interacting with you as much. Unless they need something from you. And this might be a good thing. It might be what you prefer. Because then you won't have to deal with them as much as before. But they are going to see you as someone who has the ability to deprive them of their powers. They are going to see you as someone who has the ability to weaken them. So they will begin to avoid you. Because they might be worried that other people might start to be onto them as well. So they might just start avoiding you. They might just cut you off. But that's not always easy for them to do. They might be involved with your family. Or you may have children with them. In these cases, they may start to tell people not to spend time with you anymore. By knowing that you are onto them, they may then just choose to cut you out of the family or social circle and prevent anyone from being alone with you or spending time with you, just in case you choose to tell them the truth.
when you are on to the narcissist. When you start to figure out what they're doing. The best thing to do is to stop engaging with them. They might realise that you're onto them. They might realise that it's no longer as interesting to toy with your mind. And that they can no longer control you or gaslight you. But by not engaging with them, it allows you to feel a sense of wholeness. It allows you to experience the fulfillment of your own potential. It makes you feel more comfortable within yourself. If the narcissist is enmeshed in your family or social circle, you don't need to cut them out of your life. You just need to learn how to engage with them and enforce boundaries. Rather than handing yourself over as something for them to sacrifice. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsweathercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.